Hello and welcome to a new ADF tutorial and today's tutorial will cover the band functionality within ADF and we are going to look at periodic energy decomposition analysis or PDAS. So the way we are going to start is by setting up our system of magnesium oxide with carbon monoxide. You can simply copy and paste the coordinates in the description into your GUI like this and you will get this structure. Next up we are going to set up the fragments by going to model regions selecting the carbon monoxide adding the plus button then deselecting them by clicking in the empty space and selecting the magnesium oxide atoms while holding the shift and again at the plus button. It is smart to rename them so you know which one is which when you look at it afterwards. Okay, there we go. Next up we are going to set up the details for the calculation by going to main and then changing the settings to the GGA PBE functional a DZP basis set, a small frozen core, and a basic numerical quality. Finally, we go to multi-level fragments and selecting yes. This will make sure we trigger the periodic energy decomposition analysis. Now we're going to save, pressing Ctrl S, and name it PDAF. Now that it has saved, we can run the script, run, and wait for the calculation to finish. All right, as you can see, the calculation has finished, and we will now look at the results. We can look at the results in SCM and press Output. And then in the Properties tab, we can press P, the energy terms, to look at the energy terms which are calculated. In addition to these energy terms, the sums up preparation energies of the fragments and the negative bomb dissociation energy are usually given. Therefore, you have to calculate the energy difference between the electronically and structurally relaxed fragments which can be accessed by geometry optimization of the separated fragments and the promoted fragments which are, which are already calculated and used for the PDA. Adding this energy difference which is equal to the preparation energy to the interaction energy will give you the negative bond dissociation energy. If that was too fast for you, please feel free to re-watch this tutorial and if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments down below. That was all for this tutorial. If this tutorial was useful for you, please leave a like. Please let us know in the comments down below what tutorial you would like to see next. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. And as always, take care.